Now this figure 20-6 uh, illustrates the requirements for the disconnecting means for a transformer, its location and so forth. Now notice the disconnecting means, uh, the requirements are in 450.14, but a means to place your lock with or without a lock being present is 110.25 as you see in the main call out. But now let's review the boxed in information to the left. Notice a lockable circuit breaker used as a disconnect is out of sight of the transformer, but it still has to have a means to lock and tag it out when you do that, so you have to provide that. Uh, in which you can purchase a, a, a means to place over the breaker handle that would uh, provide a means to provide a lock with a, excuse me, with or without a lock being present. Now, uh, right below that, the disconnects out of sight of the transformer, and it shows a disconnect behind the wall there. There's a central lo uh, location to uh, place it, same thing. You have 450.14 and 110.25 requirements. Now, the disconnected means out of sight of the transformer, uh, again, uh, shows it could be in the panel board. It could be another uh, uh, disconnect located closer to the transformer so the route of travel wouldn't be as far. And then uh, notice that it says, okay, if you can't place the disconnect within 50 foot, bird's eye view, the way the crow flies, or route of travel, then it says you can place the disconnecting means remote, but you have to put a plaque on the transformer label identifying where that disconnect may be located. And then, of course, if you want to have a good case study of the uh, transformer, look at 450.8 for guarding purposes. 450.9, you can't store anything on top of the transformer. Uh, 450.10, grounding rules. 450.13, uh, uh, 450.14, uh, 13, you know, deals with location. 450.14 deals with the disconnecting means that we're reviewing now uh, in this little figure 20.6. And then 450.21, it says, hey, you got to divide that transformer into KVA. 112 kV or less, you have rules uh, for installing it. If it's over 112 kVA, you have rules for installing it. So those are very important that you review uh, these callouts. Uh, as I've stated many times, the callouts are there to teach you more about installing a transformer uh, with all the elements required to do it properly and you just learn a lot by, go, by taking your time just to go through your code book it's very easy to do uh, it, it's fast to do but if you will uh, you know set aside a little time to study your code book it's one of your main tools as an engineer uh, contractor or electrician now, a maintenance electrician just has to know enough about the code to swap out, replace, or change components and elements one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. In other words, they've already been installed. Uh, you're just maintaining them by NFPA 70B by uh, providing maintenance or replacement, things like that. So that's what this figure 20-6 is illustrating to the user of the NEC when they install a transformer.